the peace in the outside world is only begotten by feeling and knowing a tangible sense of peace within us. Should everyone on the planet be striving toward a common goal? If so, what would that be? I don't like the word should, because that makes people feel as though there's an imperative that there's something outside of themselves that's driving them or making them do something or that there's good or bad or things like that to focus on. I would say, if you're asking the question, can everyone on the planet be striving toward a common goal? And if so, what would that be? It would be peace, but not when you hear that crazy, like they always have contestants for the Miss America pageant say, what would you want? And they say world peace. It's interesting because people do want the world to be peaceful as a place that they can show up to and enjoy and have fun and feel connection. But the peace in the outside world is only begotten by feeling and knowing a tangible sense of peace within us. So having one common goal would be to have everyone align and connect to the part of them that is already aware of connection and peace and ease. We all have an inner being and the inner being is the part of us that's, that's the embodiment of wisdom and joy and fun and creativity. And it's literally the voice of our own best interest. It speaks to us in our heart of hearts. It speaks to us in our core, in our gut, when we have gut knowing. And often we have to get out of our own way or get out of our head, the cogitating mind that tells us or pays so much attention to the good or bad opinions of other people or wants us to do things that are driven by outside motivation. This voice, that's the voice of peace, the one that we would connect with in order to experience world peace, individual peace, if we all would connect to this individually, we'd all be on the same page. We'd be hearing literally the same voice. The truth is the truth is the truth is the truth, the truth with the capital T. It speaks of our capacity to be only love. And that's not the woo-woo kind of romantic love or the, the love that's depicted in so many um, movies or things. It's the love that is driven by a sense of completion. It's love that is expressed and experienced as, as infinite. We don't experience it unless we give it away. We have more of it when we give it away. Anything worth having, we get more of in the giving away of it. So we have more peace when we give peace. When we feel peace, we give peace to know it. When we are in a place where we are enthusiastic or feeling joy, we get more joy when we share it. When we feel love, deep connection, and an and, and inner sense of, of connectedness, then we share that and we get more of it. It's not something that we find outside of ourselves. We can only find it inside of ourselves. And I know that feels like it's trite or has been said so many times, but it's been said so many times because it is the truth. When we are in a place of peace, when we just surrender to that voice of our own best interests, the voice of wisdom, the voice of truth, the part of us that is perfection, then we start to share that with people outside of us. That's when the world looks like a much better place. That's when we begin to live the life we were born to live. We came here to bring beauty to life, to bring truth to life, to bring happiness to life, joy to life, love to life. We came here literally as the light. When we bring this delight and light to life, then other people know it's possible for them. It takes a great deal of commitment to override all the noise and the challenges that can appear to be so real in the world. Just let yourself commit to this on a day-to-day -day basis before you even open your eyes in the morning. 
Let yourself connect to the light within you. Let yourself feel that deep connection to the sense of completion in you, the sense of love and well-being in you that doesn't prod you or motivate you into the world to fix or change or, or do things in order to be something someday. It's a part of you that's in a place of completion, knows you, loves you impeccably. And then just stay in that space with your eyes closed for a moment and ask, tell me where to go. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to say and to whom. And I will to do it. I will to do it with your core and your inner being. You will to do it and nothing more. The ego always tells us to run around in circles and jump through hoops and try to fix or change all these things that if we're disconnected, it's really just moving messes from one place to the other. When we connect like this first, we can open our eyes with a sense of delight that will be surprised and delighted all day as we hear our inner being prompt us towards things that are much more fulfilling and joyful and fun and ultimately let you strive in a way that's not striving at all. If everyone on the planet was striving toward a common goal, what would that be? You'd be absolutely effortlessly enjoying a life in a state of grace, no striving necessary, just attaining perfect peace all day, every day, because that's what you bring and that's what you find. And that's what you continue to perpetuate.